Yeah. Might as well, right? That's what I did before this. Come on. Shit. Get out of title to this. We're episode seven now? Seven, dude. Yep. Yeah, you're the only one who's blurry to me, Diggs. It might be your computer. My camera might like, sucks. Yeah, your camera might be shit. No, my screen. laptop it is. Are we recording this? Yes, I am. Or that's recorded. This doesn't do recording, right? No, but I'm recording off of OBS. And here we go. We are live. Welcome back to the Sunday Shit Show. What's up, everybody? Hi. What's up, what's up, what's up? Hey. We are... What's going on? Here with the usual PJ Ashley, we have a, another member of our team this week, Mary. Out Hello. From OKC. Mary, say what's up and uh, give a little razzle-dazzle about yourself. Yeah, I'm Mary, uh, Mary Silas Photography, uh, based out of Oklahoma City, all metro areas. I like to shoot concerts and nature. Yeah. Hell yeah. Very cool. <laughs> Mary, you recently got like hooked up with some a distillery now, right? You making uh, hand sanitizer and stuff. Yeah, I actually ended up declining that because it was a forty-minute drive. Uh, my job's actually opening up next week, so. Oh, great, great. That's yeah. awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's good to hear. People yeah. need to get Are you guys back locked down? Uh, we're on a yeah. stay safe, so we're not on lockdown. Yeah. Everyone's still kind of acting normal. So, yeah, that's Oklahoma for you. <laughs> I know. I go back on uh, on Wednesday, which is which nice. is awesome. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm just checking something here real quick. I apologize. What? I was doing the exact same. <laughs> Sorry, my tech crew just got in my ear. <laughs> I am, it looks like I'm frozen. Oh. It looks like our feet is frozen. Are we at least on my. You're sputtering. Yeah, Can't I'm see all, my cold one. I'm all over the place right now. Sorry. All guys. good. Sorry, guys. Ash, are you watching? Yeah, we're good. We're, are, are you watching? Um, we're laggy. We're very laggy right now. Because on my end. Because I'm here. <laughs> I'm throwing no. it off. No. No. No, it's called the shit show for a reason. Don't you worry yeah, about it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Guys, oh, what's the new guys? Anything? Anything good this week? No, no. I got two weeks left of school and I'm done. You mean two weeks left of school? <laughs> I'll be the oldest bachelor degree recipient in the history of Salem State. <laughs> Is that a fact? <laughs> that's no, a fact. It's not a fact. Oh. Oh, you need a plaque. <laughs> well, that was a good feel. Mary, what are you doing to stay busy these days? Animal crossing, drinking, sleeping, planning my next meal. Love that's it. about it. Every like day. The rest. <laughs> yeah. A few photo shoots here and there. Those willing to get out. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's you, you, awesome. Yeah, so you're on the same schedule as me. I do first breakfast, second breakfast, nap time. first yeah. lunch, second lunch. First nap, second nap. First snack, second snack. <laughs> Take a nap. <laughs> right? Play some Animal Crossing. <laughs> Mary, I saw you, well, there you, you go. just did some nature I, shots a little while ago. Those came out pretty badass. The, like the, yeah. the flowers you did and everything. Yeah, those flowers were fun. A little bit different than what I usually do. I like them. They came up pretty fast. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so what's your specialty? What do you like to shoot the most? I think mostly concerts. Yeah. So. Yeah, I was doing those before. Bands and stuff. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Might as well be doing something while I'm there. And that's Absolutely. why you're with us. Right? <laughs> Keep the camera warm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing the same. Yeah. Make sure you don't forget your skills. Yeah. That's so, awesome, Logan. Yeah. When, yeah. when you're shooting, Mary, I asked Ashley this last week. What are you using for equipment? Uh, Canon Rebel. It's a T3i. And I use a Nikon D3200, too. Nice. So... 
and you primarily but teach canon, right? The canon is more concerts, so. Nikon might do as well. Gosh, <laughs> what do you shoot? Oh, here we go. Come on, here we, let's oh, bring I'm it. canon. Let's go. <laughs> 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 I'm a shit stirrer. I'm just going to stir the pot. <laughs> uh, I talk shit, but I, I honestly, I've used my I, first camera was a Nikon, but it was like a, it was a point and shoot, you know? And Pete, you didn't even talk shit. Like, you, bought, you bought Lauren a, a Nikon. Yep. Yep. Uh, she's been doing her thing. That. She, she's been <laughs> helping Vicky out doing school projects, <laughs> doing Nikon virtual field trips. Oh, nice. 3200, too. Oh. So, like yeah. Lexington Center and stuff like that. Okay. The canon is more concerts. So. I know we um, opened up with some new Tech Nine. He just dropped an album well. this week. And it's amazing. So check that oh, out. Go. <laughs> check it out. I'm, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a shameless plug. Check out my review for the Saving Vice video, Broken Window. Look out for the video coming up later tonight. In the, in the yeah, interview yeah. with the band. Yeah, yeah we got um, tonight, Chase man. and Tyler from Saving Vice tonight. We're very excited to have them on. Um, Hound Shaman was asked to do a, a review for their new video, which Broken is amazing. Window. Check that out. We're, um, our, that will be on our website. So that's where you can find those. You can also find them Saving Vice's website, so obviously. All their links <laughs> are, uh, are currently up on the website now. Yeah, so they're all caught up. They can check it out there. Yeah, we're very excited to have those guys on. It's gonna be a good show. Okay, can't wait. Yeah. Any new music from you guys? Have you heard anything good? Any good playlists? I've been dipping back in. Um, I've been dipping back into the old school a little bit. See? That's awesome. Oh, yeah. I'm stuck. Like I've been listening to Easy E all all week long. <laughs> I can't get it out of my head. Old school. Easy E. I've been. I've been um, like listening to full from albums like front to back instead of just like a couple songs because I have time to do that now. So that's kind of neat, yeah. you know, yep. kind of really thoroughly enjoy the artists and not just like yeah. quick song so, on for a workout playlist or something, you know. Give an you, example. Man? What are you talking about? Now? Um, like today I listened to a Asking Alexandria. I've got an album and a half done. <laughs> like which um, albums? Like from the early years, or um, what did I watch? I don't watch, yeah. Listen to, because I, I will get it wrong if I don't look at my Spotify <laughs> right now. Because I'm put, being put on blast. I'm sorry. That's all right. We talking not the American average stuff, or we talking new act? act um, oh, the here. new the one that just came out last year. I it's started there, and I'm working my way I, down. Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. 2017 it came out. So yeah, great album. So. Oh, oh. Mary, See, what are you listening to this? A lot of uh, motionless and white and flames lately. Nice. So, there you go. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of Wednesday 13 too. So. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. I'm a big motionless guy, so that, that well, that's awesome. That's why you're yeah. motionless. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Dave, yeah. you sound like you're talking in a tunnel. I yeah. can't hear you. Yeah. You are a little uh, muffled today, but come closer to us. <laughs> well, if I come closer, yeah. I can't see my eyes. Come into the light, Carolyn. <laughs> like, if you slouch, maybe. Thanks. But yeah, Tech Nine's got new stuff out. Um, oh, last night, Lady Gaga put on that concert. So, like, we're in this together. Yep. And there was, like, there was, uh, I didn't get to watch the whole thing yet, but the part I did get to see, it was great. Yeah, that's um, where I check out. I'm good. It <laughs> 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 was cool. Something different, you know? I watched bits and pieces like, of it. It was artists. It was, like, the Rolling Stones came out. It was, like, a mix of, like, so many artists across the world just doing live music in their living room. So it was actually really cool. It live music is never bad. A Lady Gaga concert, so don't worry. <laughs> yeah, no. Live music's never bad. It's pure. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was a uh, enjoyable one I'd seen. So, yeah. You know, living quarantine life. <laughs> some yeah, of us, some you. of us aren't. I haven't quarantined a single day yet. 
Yeah. I've been in it for a month. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. That's what happens when you work at a bar. For real. For real. Yeah. Ash, yeah. Ash feels it. <laughs> exactly. It's all right. We're getting through this. <laughs> right? Doing what we can do. I know. Um, yeah, I guess there re really are, well, everything that I've read so far, it's really looking like 2021 won't be so, you know, concert life again. So it'll be I interesting for I a lot of us. I've probably been, uh, I've been to thousands of concerts in my lifetime, you know, it's just crazy to think about since I was 13. Like, I hope, I, I honestly hope it doesn't stretch out to 2021. I know some tours have, have canceled their rescheduled dates already. Yeah. Yeah. Just because so it's at, at, at yeah. this point, if you're going to cancel in the summertime, your your tours are going to be done. So, yeah, yeah. unfortunately, you know, we roll to punches and come 2021, we're all going to be running to those venues like a herd of elephants. Well, some of the things I was reading about that as well was a lot of um, – Places are doing polls actually about that, like through their Twitter and, and whatnot, like venues, and they're like, you know, so even if it does take till 2021, what is your reaction going to be? Are you going to come running into the pit, or are you going to still linger back for a little bit? Obviously, depending where we all are at that point in life, I think. But. I'll be in front of the pit. <laughs> 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 well, you come to the show, not just the pit, like. Because either way, you go to a show, it's sold out. You don't have to, you're in the back of the house, you're so shoulder to shoulder with someone, you know? So what are you going to do? You're going to um, run like you shot out of a slingshot into the pit. We're going to be in and front of the pit in the photo pit. You're going to have to freaking pull your ass out of it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> they're saying they're going to be, everyone's <laughs> all on this. There's a lot of memes too right now, and they're just like, um, it's like these massive like men and monsters and stuff, and it's like the the first pit back, and I'm like, oh god, I'm a it's little gonna nervous. Be nasty. It's gonna be violent. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mary, what yeah. are your thoughts about coming up to uh, in September for our um, Bikers Against Child Abuse event? Yeah, I think it's a it's a new thing that's happening. That'd I'm be excited awesome, to man. see. Yeah, it'd yeah. be awesome, you know, actually meet face to face and, you know, become really part of the family. Right. I was hoping to, whatever, before all this happened. Yeah, you were. Yeah. Like five hours away. It yeah, because you were supposed to be today. There. Yeah, we were supposed yeah, to be there today okay. doing a live, a live oh, broadcast from there today. Yeah. Yes. That'd be great, though. If you, if you make it up this way, it'd be awesome. Yeah. We'll see where things go. Yeah, of course. We'll get there. Eventually. Right. Some point. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, oh, and I listened to that whole new Tech Nine album today, which literally just came out this week. I should probably know the name of it. Gosh, I'm really slacking today. I'm sorry. Enter Fear. <laughs> you going to do, you're gonna do a review? Yeah, actually, I was going to do a review. So it's funny that you asked me. <laughs> The album is called Enter Fear. Enter Fear, yeah. Good. I have not listened I like to it. I was actually surprised when I, last year when we all met in Worcester for Tech Nine. That was one of the most violent pits I've seen in a long time. I don't remember. <laughs> that was fun. No, you, you were in your cat <laughs> you, were, you, were, you were a mess. <laughs> Someone told me I was there. <laughs> yeah. You're just having fun. No, you, you're good. He's fine. Might have um, bowed to the porcelain. I, mean, I don't think, think it was very violent. Yeah, I think the thing about, like, I don't think it was violent. I think people, like, hear the word pit or, like, see it. And, like, some sections you avoid. But for the most part, like, because everyone wanted to, I don't know, scream in each other's faces. But, like, <laughs> words, you know, and, like, I don't know. Mary, have you seen Tech Live yet? Not live. I was hoping to this month, but not anymore. I know. We were trying to get you in there for the show, I know. Yeah. If I, you, they uh, were back for us, honestly, but not just us. A lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of mm -hmm. bands, photographers. I think you, you know, took the entire, the entire month of May off. 
from real work to shoot a bunch of shows, Ash. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was pretty much going to. Like, I literally, like, the last two weeks, I'm like, I'm going to be in here <laughs> maybe one day a week. <laughs> So, uh, what, what, what are your do? thoughts on Great Days? It's the stuff that Chester Bennington did before Lincoln Park. So I, they finally I, they, they released him the whole album that's coming out. It's, it, the whole album oh, going out. Yeah. Oh, okay. When's that coming out? Like, I honestly didn't know. It just says 2020. There's no release date yet on it. Um, they got, got three songs they've already like teased. It's like, it's, it's, it's pretty raw stuff. It's good. Yeah. You like it? Yeah, I do. Does it sound like Lincoln Park or? No. No? Nope. There's no turntables. There's not, none of that. It, it, no, it's good though. Cool. So, we obviously you know, haven't come up. Oh, go ahead. Be on the lookout for that. Sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> check it out. <laughs> yeah. It's the Ashley Check Ashley It Out segment. New, Ashley's new segment coming up. Check it out. Terrible. <laughs> Check it out with Ash. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I like music. I like all types, so whatever. <laughs> Talk about it all. Did you watch the Disney sing alongs the other night, Ash? Oh, I'm sorry, what? Did you watch the did you watch the Disney sing alongs the other night? No. Yeah, they did Disney sing along on TV. They had a whole hour of Disney uh, Disney sing alongs. I figured you would have been all over that. Wow. I did not. I missed out. I'm de devastated now. Oh, sorry to hear that. All right. I'll have one in my room later. <laughs> <laughs> Disney sing along. It's fine. <laughs> we'll be all right. So what else um, is going on? What else? What else is going on in the oh, world? We definitely, well, once again, another week gone by that we've slacked on getting slogan. options for our slogan of the show, but that's all right. No, It'll happen. <laughs> no, if we give them options, they'll choose, you know. People We're keep polls online all the time. Mary, you been so, following this? We're trying to come up bit. with a slogan for the shit show. Yeah. So we, we, we initially asked people to come up with something. And now we're seven weeks in and nobody's come up with anything. So now we're going to give like <laughs> three options and everybody vote. What do you think? What were the options? We haven't come up with them yet. No, we don't have that. Oh, no. That's what I'm saying. We still don't have that. I'm but it'll that. come. It's not that we're not slack. It's just there's not enough hours in the day sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Even being home on quarantine, Absolutely. the days just roll by. Absolutely. Unless you're PJ not quarantining and driving to Marshfield. I'm an asshole. Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> oh, so. What do you got going on the playlist? Uh, Tech Nine on the outside. All right. All right. Some new tech. I think there's some new some new calico out there now too. Yeah. Sure is. I know there's a bunch of underground artists out in Connecticut that I talked to that they're doing a bunch of new new music while they're you know on lockdown writing and producing. Um, That's awesome. I know a few of my homies out in Worcester doing the same, writing and just they're banging out albums because why not? Now's the time. Right, right. I'm gonna give yeah. the, I'm gonna give the plug to Devil's Champion. They're gonna be on next Sunday with us. They're working their asses off. These guys want to perform so bad, just waiting for their break. And watch them live with us next week, 8:20. Oh yeah. Good friends of ours up there, out of New Hampshire, right? Yeah, out of Nashville. My hometown. Working hard. They, they got death rattle blood in them. They, you know, they just local hard working guys, just waiting. Waiting to rip shit up. Yep. Like the rest of us. <laughs> Mary, check them out. Devil's oh, champion. <laughs> you can chime in. Don't be shy, please. Hey, I'm new at this. I don't know. We got a new video, so I know. I'm watching we, you guys. We got you on for a reason. Chime in, please. Plug yourself. Right? Do whatever you're going to do. 
<laughs> Are you doing anything, Mary? Working on your website? Are you doing anything? Up updates or what's going on with your um, social stuff? Mostly working on what kind of content I want to get. Trying to pull that all together and then build from there. So. Excellent. Just That's awesome. Get more stuff. Yeah. Well, if you have any questions or need help with anything, reach out to us. We'll gladly help you out with what we can. Yeah, absolutely. I know that website building. still figuring building. all the website stuff up, so. Yeah, that can definitely it's be. not easy trying to do that. No. And it takes a lot of time. And it can be very stressful when you want to punch computers. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you want, you can be fourth person in every Sunday night. Come on. On in. Hey, man. <laughs> I usually work Sunday, so you guys got lucky. <laughs> we did. Yeah. We sure did. Try to get them off. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Do you have any, like, idea when you get to go back, or is just everything's out of standstill there, too? So, one of my jobs, I go back next Tuesday, and then the other one, hopefully sometime in the next two weeks or so, so... Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, it just kind of depends on how it goes. Right. I know out here Tuesday, our governor is making some big announcement with some major updates of what's going on. I know my mom heard that she can't open until the 30th of May now. Here's well on, right? Yeah. Yeah. This thing is killing small businesses. Well, that's yeah. the thing. And I'm going to rant real quick before we bring on the guys from Save and Vice. I mean, the small businesses aren't getting shit for anything. The no. the, the stimulus packages. And they are, ran out of money. Well, because they're giving all the stimulus Absolutely. money to the major corporations. They're giving them millions and millions of dollars in bailouts and giving nothing to the local mom and pops to help them. Right. So it's well, screw me then, or screw them. You know, it's it definitely sucks. It sucks, like. Yeah, wish we could do more. <laughs> yep. Nice. Crazy life we're in now. Super crazy. It's weird. It's really it's weird. weird. But yeah. We're yeah. living in strange times. <laughs> it's definitely gonna make a right. make for a story with the with the little one when he gets older. <laughs> That's our future NHLer. Or linebacker. <laughs> yeah, one of them. <laughs> He's our ticket you to the promised the land. I, you got, I got the football side. <laughs> uh, teach him a four three. Teach him a four three or five three defense. We good. <laughs> Ash actually went to her first football game last year. Her first. Yeah. Well, that was your first Pats game, right? That we went to. No, no, that was my first time being in the first row. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it was my second game, though. My second one. What'd you think? Yeah, that was a good time. Oh, I love it. It's awesome. Man. It's crazy how much much taller the players are in real life. So they like, I did not expect Tom Brady to be that tall. They're monsters. Like I knew he was tall, but I was like, damn, he's huge in real life. They're freaking <laughs> monsters. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. Six like five can, like, in real life them. is way different than six five on TV. <laughs> yeah. Well, could you could you well, imagine standing next to yeah. the Chara at six nine on on shoes? Exactly. No. <laughs> Seven two one skates. Actually, I'm a tall girl, so for me, I would enjoy that. I would be like, oh my god, I would feel tiny. I think like, like short. I don't get that much. So, <laughs> do me a favor. <laughs> stand there. Just stand right there. What this whole time? Thank you. All right. I think it, I think we gotta get get the guys on from Saving Vice. It's about that time. All right. Mary, you got any self, any shameless plugs you want to do before you hop off? Uh, I don't know anything else. You guys have anything for me? You want to plug yourself, plug your, your sites, your socials, where people can yeah. find your work? Yeah, everything is Mary Silas Photography, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all the same, just straight, straight across, so... And yeah. we, get the, we get the scroll and text going on at the easy. bottom of the screen with everyone's URL, so you can find her there. You can find her on the Hell Entertainment website. Uh, you can find her on the Hell Entertainment Facebook, pinned to the top of the page. You can find us all there. Go check it out. Go like her page. Go give her work some likes. She's 
pretty incredible. Mary, Mary, don't be a stranger. Come back on with us again, please. Yeah, definitely. All right. All right. Thanks, Mary. Yeah, thanks for having Bye. me. Bye. See you soon. Bye. All righty. So that was Mary. Make sure you check her out. Part of the Help crew. She's awesome. Good person. Great photographer. She's got some good stuff. Hit us up on hellentertainment.com and check out Mary's stuff. Um, yeah, and like yeah. she said, she's doing a lot of uh, nature right now, a lot of nature photography. So, well, she can't do shows, so check it out. <laughs> she's doing what we're all doing, just trying to make something happen. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right, you guys want to call in the guys? Oh, that's on you. You're. All right, I'm calling in the guys. Of course, yeah, she's calling in the guys. Calling in the guys. <laughs> Going in the mosh pit. <laughs> Just kidding. I wish. <laughs> All right. We should call our interview segment Into the Pit. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, hey, hey, what's, what's up, guys? guys? How's it going? How you guys doing? We're doing Great. all right. How about yourself? We're good. We're well. Yeah. Yeah, how's, how's, that? how's the shaft? So good, man. Good. So far, so good. Job, bang up job on the video, guys. You guys oh, did an amazing, amazing job. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, we know you, uh, we, you guys worked with Ian, and he, you guys are a great team, always come together so well. So, uh, that was I awesome. Love, yeah, Ian is like uh, the honorary, he's the honorary band member that's like not a band member. He's, right. uh, he's, an, he's, he's probably the closest to the chest of any person outside the band other than our manager like he's in a, all our chats mm -hmm. he basically is like a part of the team i mean he doesn't work exclusively for us but like he's our boy you know he's yeah, in yeah you need that guy you need yeah. a guy like that absolutely God, uh, he's, he's a know, wizard he's amazing <laughs> so. he's also like if a golden retriever was a person like he's, <laughs> he's the goodest boy there is. Like he's like, like if I murdered someone, he's the only person I tell. Like, <laughs> it's always good to have a friend like that. It's always right? good to have a friend like that. Yeah, he's like he's like till, till the grave kind of friend, you know. Oh yeah. A, so that's so awesome. how are you guys doing with this uh, whole quarantine thing? What are you guys up to? You know. What you um, you just I, dropped the album and all of a sudden everything shut down. Yeah, that's that, I gotta say it's been rough. Um, we were we were lucky enough to ha that the album release show went through about a week before it would have been canceled as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, that that show was like it just sucked because that was like probably the best show we've ever had, and it was like a a testament of what I thought this whole year was gonna be, and then we got <laughs> right. cut short right after so we we're really looking forward to all the other shows we had coming up and in the plans and now we're just like cold turkey yeah so. there's like there was tour. yeah there was yeah, you had all the mo you had all the momentum building and yeah then just, everything got cut off yeah it yeah. was weird yeah. and fun to drop and make this album then not immediately tour afterwards yeah right. we yeah, yeah there's tour stuff that never got announced that i don't even know what's going on you know what i mean like there's yeah. so much that's up in the air um so we're pretty much just doing our best to try to stay busy in any way we can. One of the unfortunate things is like, unlike a lot of bands, we aren't all together. So we're in state. Like we're in northern Vermont. Robbie's in southern Vermont, and the other two, Kenji and uh, Sammy, are in New Hampshire and Massachusetts. So we can't really travel to see each other to even do like a live stream or to record or write right now. So yeah. most of our, yeah, and most studios aren't even recording right now. So, are you guys still in contact every day though? Are you still? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, Bobby wouldn't let us not be in yeah. contact. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're still putting the work in, so. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's run like a. It's still, we're still running it like any business would try to run right now. I mean, we're trying to just. Obviously, our fans are really awesome, and they're still supporting us. You know, we're trying to just keep like merch coming, and we did have some stuff. On like the agenda, I guess that we didn't know when we were going to do it. And this is giving us an opportunity to kind of like release that stuff. Like luckily we had broken window already, you yep. know, yep. so there, there is stuff that we had in the closet that we were like saving for this year. Yeah. So we still have stuff to put out, but it's, I mean, we were luckier than a lot of bands because we weren't, we were like in that process of leaping the tour. Right. 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 
you. Great when that happened. So like we were lucky that we weren't just on the road when all this happened. Like, you know, we had kind of been we were in a good spot. Right, preparing yeah. for yeah. Yeah. stockpiling content for what we didn't know was about to happen. Yeah. Right. Well, I know, I know you guys sold out that show, that um, your album no. release show, and I know you were supposed no. to play the Palladium. Was that last week, two weeks ago? The, the Palladium should have been yesterday. I think. Oh, it was yesterday. It would, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it would have oh, been man. yesterday. Yeah. We so love that venue. Too. Yeah, it was like, it was yeah. a good lineup with like, it was bands we were friends with that we were excited to play with. Right. Like, no, I have seen as a band that I, we've been trying to play a show with again for like a year or like so. Of course. Yeah. Of course. And we will be playing with them since we first started. So, um, yeah, that was, it's not canceled, it's just postponed, pushed back. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, that's it's just everything, it's, so. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like trying to like wait till Christmas, though, and like Christmas could get moved <laughs> another week. So exactly. we, <laughs> those of us in the, those of us that are in the industry know we're waiting for you guys. Like, <laughs> come on. Yeah, <laughs> we're we're trying to like stay uh, optimistic, but we're not. Same. We're trying not to bank on it, so we're trying to like work as though, let's say hypothetically we couldn't play another show till 2021. What would we do as a band for all that time? And that's what we're kind of focused on. Because, like, when shows come back, we can always, like, hop back on that path. Right. So it's kind of so like... So, it, so going along that thought, that thought process, would you just... Would you write another album? Or what are you thinking? So, well, well um, that's bigger. I mean, they, I, obviously, yeah. I know it takes, it takes a lot of work to write an album. I'm not yeah, trying to be naive on this, but what do you do? Yeah, I would say... I mean, I can't without giving away too much. Like we were, right. we were gonna, you know, we we spent probably two years preparing to drop below there, which has only been out for I think like two months. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. We we put a lot of that, and like we know that obviously not playing shows kind of hurt the initial boost, but we're finding other ways to keep that. We're gonna make sure like all the songs get the treatment that they deserve, and we are writing and preparing other music. Um, we kind of wanted to play around. We're gonna experiment a little bit before we cool. get back to writing another record. We're gonna definitely play around, and just do a bunch of fun stuff, and kind of just see what people react or how right. they react to it. I guess. Well, yeah. I was gonna yeah. say yeah. Uh, to that, like you guys had just dropped that album, so obviously your tour was to promote that. And I feel like right now, and maybe for you guys as well, a lot of bands had also done dropped new albums or yep. had postponed dropping their albums, but they want to tour eventually to promote what they had worked so hard for. So I'm hoping, yeah. like, I, I'm not assuming, but hopefully, like, you guys will still do your tour for this album when you have the chance. I feel like it's just one giant pause button, like, that yeah. we're on, it's, you it's know? More, and I it's think more, we're in some essence. Yeah. yeah. Maybe to the full extent of what we originally were planning on, right. we're still going to make yeah. a campaign for this album, make it yeah, worth yeah. it for all the fans who haven't had a chance to do it. Yeah, like, you got to look at it, too. It's, you know... What, we uh we we always look at it like we're a young band you know we've we've been doing i mean i've only been in this band since like 2017 you know that was when we kind of started playing around and then we didn't even get serious till like two years ago and i try to look at it and I, you know, whenever we get discouraged about how things are going it's important to remember that like at the stage we're at there's still way more people who don't know about saving rice than do in the grand scheme of things so like you know, it may feel like a bummer, like, oh, we just dropped all over there in two months. And, like, yeah, so maybe the people who've been jamming it every single day since that first day want more music already. But there's still so many people who still haven't even heard our first EP. So, like, we still treat it like the music is still new to a lot of people. And we're trying to focus on just getting our music into new hands. Because, like, from, from where we're at right now, that's kind of all we can do. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump on that for a second because yeah. I met your drummer Sammy a year ago, yeah, a year yeah. and a half ago, and he's like, my band's saving Vice. Please check us out. I promise you, we don't suck. <laughs> <laughs> the and next day, did, I, went, I, downloaded, I downloaded your EP. I'm like, oh my god, now I'm a fucking fan. Like, yeah, that's like, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like we 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 love that EP still. Absolutely. I mean, that it, awesome. did, it did so good. It did so good for our first release. We're really we. I still look back and I'm very grateful for how well it did. 
when it dropped, you know, and how many people related to it, which is pretty cool. And uh, I, we've always tried, we try to keep it like with us having a story and like almost like a plot to it in a, in a sense, like I, it's fun to have the people who were there from the beginning, picking up on maybe references or things we did that were maybe we, maybe we like drop an Easter egg in lyrics about the first EP. So the people who've been really paying attention since the beginning, yeah, like from that payoff, and they're kind of seeing where the story of our music is going. So that's kind of fun. That's awesome. Uh, that's that's awesome. great. Yeah, yeah. That's very cool. <laughs> I, like, I don't. But, I don't think we want without without, without yeah. Sammy, I never would have heard of your band. Like, that, it was a chance meeting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's good. He's really good at. Uh, he just likes talking to everybody. Like, yeah. 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 And, yeah. And that's really what you need. You need someone out there who's not afraid to go and, and talk to anybody and everybody to help you guys get the name out there and, and get your brand out there. Yeah. It's, it's definitely like, you know, you always wonder, you don't want to come on too strong when you're trying to promote yourself. and like, you don't want to bug people. But at the end of the day, it's just like the people who are going to like what you have to put out aren't going to get frustrated when you show them. Like the people who get upset aren't going to listen to your music anyway. So you just kind of have to let it go. There's the occasional <laughs> one that people come back. Uh, like ignored us in the beginning and they're like hey man i'm sorry we ignored that first message you sent us but you guys have been killing yeah. it lately and that's like it'll yeah. be easy yeah. to be able it's, to turn them around i, I was it's like yeah. when you tell someone to check out my bands they don't listen but if you say check out this band they do because when they know you they instantly think well it can't be that good this is just some guy <laughs> <laughs> so i always try to promote a saving advice to people like oh you should check this band now but i don't tell them it's my band because i feel like it instantly is gonna like devalue it to them that's genius. That's you great. know what it's better though when they watch the video when they see you, they're like, "Oh my God, it's the guy that I just talked to that said check out this band." The video is definitely the selling point. Yeah, I, like, 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 I, I don't know what even though I want to break the barrier. Like a very like beginning band and someone who's been in the scene for a while. Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like music videos just hold more weight with people. Like I feel like it. It, it sucks that you have to almost like to a lot of audiences status will kind of get people to even give you a chance music yeah, like you know, like music videos are just more engaging content and it's if you want someone to like listen to your music sometimes you really have to like give them something to, start, to draw them in just to get them to like give it a a shot and like, pay attention to it so. it's, of course, the, it's, the, it's, the, it's, the, it's the visual aspect of it yeah which is what's going to yeah, kind of so. draw them in let them know what the song's about and things and things like that. Yeah, you guys are very well produced, by the way. All your videos are just spot on. Yeah, so we go to um, I don't know if you guys know this already, but um, we go to Randy Pasquarella. He uh, records out of New York, and he actually uh, he plays drums and sings and records um, for If I Were You. If you guys are familiar with that band, but it's they're pretty tight. Yeah, they're really tight. I, I will be after the show. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? I said I will be after this show. I'm gonna check them out. <laughs> You're gonna love them, man. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Um, so he uh, and Randy is actually uh, he pretty much if we have a whoa whoa like a whoa 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 yeah, chanting like a heart, honey, whoa whoa in yeah, the back. Anytime you hear a whoa 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 sound on any of our songs, it's pretty it's Randy. Like, like uh, strong <laughs> once more is that? Yeah, that's yeah. like how we sneak him into the houses. <laughs> he's like he's like a chanting party. He's in the back. He would just throw him on the microphone to like sing a like a background humming part so he kind of gets his like mark on all the music yeah that's cool though. i like that yeah he's a really good singer so oh yeah anything else so like you said you're just working on as best you can so we understand well, yeah. that we're doing the same thing as photographers we yep. do shows we need you guys to play so we're out too <laughs> yeah, it's, we're out. it's hard to uh it definitely like you know, you get to days where it gets discouraging because you don't know when this is going to end. So it's kind of hard. It's like you, you go from having all your eggs in this basket to not really knowing when oh, yeah. you're even going to be able to do anything with it again. So we kind of had to go back to like when we first started out when we were like playing like one show a month and you, we were just mainly just doing stuff on the internet and kind of work with that mindset again. So you, you have to try to find ways to get creative and like engage with people. Cause you gotta think like all your fans are at home, stuck home too. So it's like, what what can we do to like make them 
less shitting, you know? Yeah. You know, from our end. Really well, no, because yeah. we can't meet with each other. It's harder to make the content that we need. That we're just yeah. it so much easier. Yeah, it's to not guys. the same. Right. It's not the yeah. same when you're through technology yeah. as much as you try, but. That's yeah. what we do. Oh, most that, of you guys have great attitudes towards everything, you know, so. Go with yeah, it. Like that. <laughs> yeah, we kind of like, after you hit. After you get through your like third or fourth shit show, you kind of just learn to just be like, "Well, we got through last time." And that's like, and it just kind of like, be over, you know, one way or another. And just you have to bite the bullet. I mean, I feel like being in a band is all about learning to bite bullets, <laughs> just like a lot of bullets. You know, you have to. It's a fair you, point. You have, to, you have to do everything just being ready to fall on your face and eat shit and then have to get back up and do it again. Because mm -hmm. if you can't, yeah. that, you get burnt out real early in the game. Yeah. So, uh, you guys seem to have a great attitude about it. You, you, the band seems to have great relationships. I mean, can you speak on that a little bit more? Or? I mean, since they want. Uh, so, yeah, we've all always had a really unique relationship. And a, I, got a apple in my house. <laughs> the R your... I don't think it's us. Uh, no, it's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. <laughs> We've all really had good. a good relationship since uh, day one in a way because it, outside of the band situation, I feel like we wouldn't hang out with each other that much. Yeah, I mean, um, I feel like every band I've been in was with people who I would never have been friends with if I hadn't been put in a band. <laughs> we would all be in separate like cliques in a high school and different friend groups yeah. probably. But when we get together, like all of our different influences and uh, our attractions and whatever. So prof is, professionally, you you guys gel. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, we you you. Uh, I mean, like... I'd be lying if I said it was always smooth. <laughs> you have to kind of. Like, you have to get to a point where I was kind of leading you down this path. So I, just, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> I know it's not a rose garden every day. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely been every. I mean, if any band tells you no one's ever been at each other's throats, they're so full of shit. Like, oh, yeah. like, Truth. So, <laughs> you know, I'm without any stress yeah. or without any like like scary moments. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Everyone's got their own personality. Everyone's got their own agenda. Everyone's doing yeah. their own thing. But at the well, same I, time, you got to yeah. come together for one common goal. Well, like, I never... I had I had younger sisters. I never had a brother. But I feel like... I look at it like... It's like family. Like, you might want to rip your brother's head off 90% of the time. But when the chips yeah. are down, yeah. you know, they're your brothers. And that's kind of how you have to look at it. You are different people. Of course, you know, you start out doing this thing you all love, and then the bigger it becomes, it becomes a business, and you have to like, you basically have to get a bunch of people who can all, at the end of the day, be on the same mindset when it comes to like what the band's trying to achieve and accomplish. So when people disagree or fight, at the end of the day, someone will be like, whatever, I'll pick my battles because we all want this to work. So everyone makes sacrifices, everyone makes compromises they don't want to make, everybody wants to punch someone in the face a little bit sometimes right. but like at the end of the day like you do that's it that's the family love ball this is how it is it's family it's true so. yeah. Five other <laughs> that's so, the life. so he he said i when you asked about relationships i think you you thought like the band but i thought you were asking about like with other people but on that front just to answer that question too i just say like relationships are probably like how we got here as a whole because it was like every show we played, you know, we'd always meet every photographer we met. We'd always try to introduce ourselves to everyone, meet every promoter, talk to every band, you know, network with everybody, stay, you know, try to get to every show early and stay late and like watch everybody. And a lot of those bands that we started out playing with, you know, we grew with them. And, you know, that's how we met Ian. You know, we just met him at a show we played. And it's like every relationship I think we have in the music industry is because we just talk to everybody. So I feel like, relationships are like probably a big foundation as a whole to this entire thing working out absolutely so so yeah, got so right now we're we're playing uh, broken window in the background on the show how was uh how was that process of making the video uh, we didn't realize what was about to happen so it all felt very casual um but i think it was probably one of the easiest videos we ever made for sure yeah i mean we kind of just we wanted to do a video with Ian because he had been shooting for us for so long and we were kind of like, hey, like, you know, you're getting into this, like, 
we want you to do this. So we're just going to give you this video and give you kind of like a rough, you know, here's what the video is about and just let you run with it. So he set it all up. He figured out the concept. You know, we obviously had a chat and we, we bounced ideas back and forth and like, you know, we collected different you know, bits of footage and talked about, cause it's, it's a video like that with like, it's obvious undertones it conceptually can be very polarizing so we wanted to make sure that we didn't come out feeling like we had an agenda we wanted to just make it very much of just a video about bad things that piss us off and make us upset without making it any like giving putting in any one direction because it obviously does like a lot of people took it to very to heart because they agreed with a lot of the things but at the same time you know there's a lot of uh, subjects you can't just talk about <laughs> anymore. Uh, it's like, we wanted, like, hey, is this, we don't want to make this seem like we're trying to ham fist any one side to any argument, but more so be like, hey, like, what are all the things that just should be universally, universally known as bad things and make a video about it and like what's in the world? So, and then we kind of let Ian just do his thing. And then there are some clips that we cut out where we were like, you know, that's too. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're like, we didn't want it to be, we didn't want people to think politics when they saw it. They just wanted to see it like, hey, like, holy shit, all this stuff is happening all the time, and I forget that that's happening. Like, that was the point of the video. Yeah. So, we're not trying to align ourselves with any, like, thing else besides just, like, good morals. <laughs> yeah. So, at the end of the day, it was just, like, things that make my stomach turn when I see it on the news. That's what I want in the video. It was pretty much because that was what we wrote it about. You know, I was like, on this. On, Cold in the Dark was so depressing and sad and like it was about self-destruction and all this stuff. In this album, I was like, you know, we were like, let's write about stuff that really makes us feel. So like, what pisses us off? Like what makes us upset? You know, what what are the things that really make us mad and like just write about it, you know? And to try to make it so it wasn't, we weren't beating the same horse, you know? Yeah, and definitely the news. That's a good thing. <laughs> definitely <laughs> make everybody yeah. mad. Yeah, I awesome like, don't watch it anymore. <laughs> Trying to, I refuse. It's so sad. Honestly, it's depressing. Since I haven't been able to go to the gym, I don't see the news anymore because I think the only time I ever saw it was when I was running at the gym. That's fair. <laughs> that is great. Uh, yeah. And it's I like, speak, so speaking of that, what do you yeah. do to get in shape to go on tour, to play shows and like, oh. to do what you do? I mean, yeah, I'll start. Up, I'm way less strict than he is. I'll eat a five pound bag of gummy bears with zero regret. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just try to like limit myself to like maybe two meals and like light snacks, and then um, I do a lot of cardio more than anything else because I eat a lot of shit. <laughs> <That's> not, <laughs> so anyway, keep me getting a bit lean and in shape. Not right now because I'm in quarantine weight, but uh, <laughs> that's what I do. I drink a lot of water. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely like I always just try to. I mean, I feel like aside from just trying to stay in shape for the sake of not turning into a blob or whatever like you're eating like, yeah, like, yeah. like it, it got more i feel like as it got i mean i'm a little older than chase too so like i'm always like looking like hey like i gotta make sure that i'm doing shit now so i'm not trying to like catch up later but like it's hard, though. You can't, <laughs> aside from when you're performing it's hard to find time to really like exercise when you're on the road mm -hmm. so like i try to i mean especially now that we're playing like bigger sets with like way more songs and like some of the newer songs are harder to sing I, you know, it's like a lot of just like, what would you do if you were going to have to go running? You know, it's just, I just do stuff to, try to stay like healthy and like light and flexible because I like, no matter how bad you think, you think you're going to take it easy, you end up throwing yourself all over the place the second you get on stage. And it's like yeah. limber, like even like, I don't care how old you are, you know, it's like Robbie, you know, Robbie, that um, one of our first tours we were on. Like he like really messed up his back. I think on like oh, the yeah. first day, in the entire tour, he was like could barely get out of the bunk. Like he was, <laughs> then we on stage and he's body banging. I was like for sure, like tonight is gonna be the last. Like he's done. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then he would just like rub some icy hot on it, like be limping around. But then he get on stage and it's like the adrenaline just makes you stop right. feeling everything that's wrong with you until the next. Yeah. Morning and you're like, I broke my spine. <laughs> <laughs> but in that moment, you're just like, obviously, you're in the moment. Oh, yeah. so it's all about adrenaline. Yeah, There's it's... no pain unless you get hit with a head sock. Yeah, it yeah. Is, it's the uh, it's like the most euphoric thing ever. You know, yeah. it's just like you get caught up in it. It's just yeah, it's just so much, and it happens so Crazy. fast. 
that's like the worst part it's like everything you know you go even like now with like you know the pandemic everything you go through from like the writing the money and like the driving and how tired you are and you know working two jobs and it's all for that like 30 minutes and the 30 minutes goes by in like a blink of an eye absolutely that you're on stage even the longer sets like a yeah. five minute set turns into like a 20 minute set yeah it just right. it's like so much built up to something that happens so fast and it really is like a drug that way like it's just <laughs> like so much goes into this like high you're constantly chasing to just try to stay like feel, living it because it's just like the you know when you love it when you love it it's just like the best thing that's great I get yeah, you, like you guys definitely get the passion like please yeah. just keep going absolutely yeah i mean we definitely yeah it's like you definitely have like your your roadblocks but um it's like at the end of the day you just gotta think like if i when it gets really bad if i quit right now what am i gonna be feeling like a month from now and it's like if you try to i try to because i took a break from music and there wasn't a day i drove to work i wasn't just jamming out in the car like wishing i was on stage you know so it's like the fear of going back to just wishing i was doing it is enough sometimes but it, it definitely gets hard. I, I'm sure every musician ever has gotten, gets to breaking points all the time, even if they don't talk about it. Absolutely. Right. So how'd you guys come up with the concept of two singers? That's a, uh, God, that's like a, that's, that's so, two dates me. I mean, three, three dates me, honestly. I know it sounds like there'd be more uh, talk behind it, but when we first started, it was because our guitarist at the time um, uh, wasn't, exa- wasn't able to sing. I wasn't able to sing, and we were at one of our band practices. Like, we could really some clean vocals. Like, I know somebody who can sing. So we really just, like, wandered into the possibility of two vocalists, and we seemed to enjoy it to the point, even when we had six members, we enjoyed it enough where we kept it along. It added, like, a unique dynamic. Because yeah. I think no matter how many people you have in a band, as long as you're creating a unique sound and your tones and your whatever it is is complementing each other, I don't think it matters how you get there as long as you're making that awesome sound, that sound like fueled by passion, fueled by everybody's like separate and individual influences. I think that's what makes a unique experience. No, I, I, I love it. I just want to, I just didn't know how you came up with it. That's all. <laughs> really no, 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 yeah. Well, I think it's fun. It's because like, I, you it's, know, it's, it's, unique. Been, it's been done. It's been, it's been done a few times of it, like some more notable than others. Yeah. And I remember when I joined the band, I like hated the idea of two vocalists. Like I never was into bands that did that, because yeah. like I I always liked the one. I always liked it. Like the reason I got into singing and screaming was because I thought it was so cool that like Burt McCracken from the U's, or, like <laughs> Craig Mabbitt could like go back and forth from being from doing both. Like in right. the middle of the right. song, I thought that was sweet, and that's what I wanted to do. And um, and then I always felt like so many of the bands with two vocalists. Like with with obviously a few exceptions like you know dance gap and dance you know I prevail I, pre- I prevail you know we yeah. came as humans, but a lot of them they hit a ceiling it always felt like where eventually it was like they either had to move on from one guy or break break up it was like they could never keep it going and it always felt like I didn't want to get we didn't, I I just didn't want to get trapped into that but I feel like we found a way to make it a sweet spot right where where right, you found your Okay. Yeah, you, yeah, you don't, you don't leave you don't leave the show being like, oh, one guy could have done all that, which right. is like what we had to strive for. We, so, <laughs> yeah, like, I try to look at it like, okay, like what would like, what would Lincoln Park do? Like, you know, like, something like that. You know, mm-hmm. so, like, how do they keep, how do they keep it interesting? Right, you know? right. Yeah, what great band to do for sure. Yeah. yeah so. so, all right, gonna ask you guys real quick random question are you ready for it (laughs) if you could have dinner with any artist dead or alive who would it be and why oh my god (laughs) that one gets them every time oh that's a really good one oh my god yeah i'm so unprepared for this question that's why we throw it at you I followed my heart. I think <laughs> I would go with Freddie Mercury because I think we oh, really. Fuck, that's good. I think we get along. I don't know what it is. I think I get along with him really well. That's a good one, right <laughs> there. Like that. <laughs> that's tough. It's not easy. I'd like to think I'd get along with Fre- Freddie Mercury, but I'd be so afraid that he would just hate me. <laughs> 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 
want the disappointment, so I wouldn't. I feel it. like I'm trying to prove my dad really proud the entire time. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I just uh, need no fun. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you got this. That dude was like trolling Sid Vicious to his face. Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> so now cool. I'm gonna throw a question your way. So if you yep. could pinpoint it, who would be? The band of your genre that were the pioneers of this whole thing that started this. Oh, God, that's such a loaded question. And, uh, it's a fastball. We think about our questions. <laughs> pretty thorough. Is, you mean like the band or the genre? <laughs> Did you say like metalcore? The genre. The genre. Just like the genre. Like, where, like, like, I can't think of an answer. Where, basically, where do you draw your inspiration from? Like, um, where, what, what made you start this? I mean, I could, could we do, like, personally? I mean... You could do 100 bands. I don't care. Oh, yeah. Okay. For me... Let's go for, like, three. For, for me, three. I'd have to say I wouldn't be doing this if I hadn't found Under Earth. And, nice. And I, will, I can't say Under Earth pioneered metalcore, because right. metalcore goes right, back right. to more. But, like, to Personal, me, yeah. they're, they're the band that started what like the metalcore we play now they, they were one of the pioneers of like that version of metalcore like without well, what we have wouldn't exist i don't in my opinion i think um i would probably and i feel like this might be a stretch but i really think deftones mainly because their, <laughs> their instrumentals are so heavy you could take one of their uh, for example like anything off the of diamond eyes nowadays you yep. go through streams right through that and it would still be just as happy and it would hold up yeah and like that we get a lot of influence from them and that like we like you don't have to it doesn't have to be like growls yeah, all you don't the have time to do a guttural to be heavy. Right. like, yeah, like right. you know i liked how like they had the light catchy ambient singing over the heavy stuff and we try to do that sometimes mm-hmm. and we're real we're we're, there's all sorts of sounds in the new music we're writing too. Like we wanna, we kind of just any time we've ever liked anything, we're kind of like, yeah, like what if we tried something more like that this time? And then that's why the whole album sounds like ten songs from ten different albums <laughs> that all sound like one band. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. So guys, we well, got shoot, a we, uh, we got a few we minutes. Time. <laughs> yeah, we we're almost out of time. Uh, give yourself some plugs like where people can find you. Go buy your merch. Help support you guys during this time that uh we're all sitting home oh yeah um yeah Um, we got we have go ahead okay (laughs) so we're obviously on all social medias at saving vice on twitter instagram and facebook we just started a tiktok much to my resentment but i think it's (laughs) nonetheless um we're on tiktok now we all have our own personal tiktoks um we haven't yep. announced it yet but we also have an etsy store that we're going to be opening we uh yep, so we opened etsy. a store on etsy Very and cool. if, if anybody out there wants to support us uh savingvice.com slash merch it's as easy as that we're dropping new merch uh almost all the time especially in a time right now so if you guys want to support us during this awesome time and you're able to we super appreciate it as much as we super appreciate you um, uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Spotify. Um, obviously, we are anywhere you can find music streaming. You can pretty much find it. But yeah. um, honestly, buying the merch. I mean, I mean just, if you like the music, share it around. Like word of mouth is everything. Yeah, like, you don't you know, have to buy anything. Yeah, okay. you just tell. I tell, share it every day. I appreciate you a lot. <laughs> it goes so far. Like, every single time, you know, some person tells some person, and it's just like that's how it spreads. You know, you can do so much on the internet. So, yeah. guys, thank looking you so much. Forward to seeing you guys we live. appreciate it. Okay, thanks, guys, and uh, yeah, stay up. Care of yourself. Stay safe. Thanks, yeah, guys. Appreciate it. All right, bye. everyone, guys. All right, guys. I was saving vice. Make sure you check them out. Really cool cat. All their links are on hellentertainment.com with uh, PJ's review of Broken uh, Broken Window. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next Sunday and. Uh, We'll be on the lookout for some more shit from the shit show. Bye. Bye, guys.